A woman carjacked and kidnapped in Seminole County. Police believe they found her body in a burning SUV two counties away. And an Orange County man gunned down the day before. We have team coverage with West Jews Dave McDaniels and Tony Adkins this afternoon. We're starting with Dave live at the Seminole County Sheriff's Office. And Dave, there's word of a possible connection between these two cases. Well, you have an unusual car and you have an unusual caliber weapon involved in both cases, according to the authorities, and has investigators aggressively working to try to come up with answers in this case. A woman kidnapped and nobody knows why. This video of a man with a nasty looking gun leaving a green Acura and getting into an SUV last Thursday in Seminole County. That SUV found on fire in Osceola County less than two hours later. 31 year old Catherine Aquas Vivas of Homestead believed dead. This was not a random act of violence that occurred, that she absolutely was targeted. Uh, why she was targeted, I think, is something that uh, our detectives are working aggressively to be able to answer that question. The day before, a man shot and killed in South Orange County, and investigators now say the green Acura was likely at that scene. And at the scene, there are more than 100 rounds, but a good percentage of those rounds on the ground are 10 millimeter. The gun used in the murder uh, of our victim that we found burnt up in the vehicle in Osceola County. A possible connection, but why? Also why? Why an Orange County deputy would land in jail accused of meddling in the Seminole County case, even using a phony name. All of the communication between the Orange County deputy uh, and our detective working the case was then recorded, all communicated back uh, to the decedent's husband uh, who was on his way here. Now again, investigators say they do believe the woman in Seminole County was targeted, but they have not been able to come up with a reason why she may have been targeted. Now again, the husband, the husband of the woman who was found in Osceola County in the burning car, he is not considered a person of interest. They say here he is cooperating with the investigation. Reporting live in Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.